Today I'm going to explore the possibility of 3D printing a servo horn. The issue will be whether or not the 3D printer will have the precision to make the most complicated part of the servo horn, which is actually the splines. A close-up of the splines on the servo shaft indicate that I'm dealing with 24 teeth. Based on simple math, 24 teeth over 360 degrees would indicate that I would need to draw a tooth every 15 degrees apart. I'm going to use Fusion 360 to model up the servo horn, and once I'm happy with what I've got, I'm going to export it to uh, Prusa Slicer, where I'm then going to convert it to G-code, and then off to the printer we go and see what the end result will be. With the print done, at first glance, I'm seeing that splines are not that evident. Under the microscope, I can see that the splines were somewhat evident. So for the real test, let's just see if it fits. Whether it was due to fairly shrinkage or the inability of the 3D printer to make accurate splines, it was a no-go. I decided to press fit the servo horn onto the servo to better define the splines. Looking at the splines again under the microscope, I can see there is better definition on the splines. So my conclusion is, for this size of servo horn, 3D printing them is viable. 